The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the October 17th, the terrific Thursday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. And let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. Now, the easiest way to do that, it's to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 11 o'clock in the morning. I want you to know that I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more important than that, and that's this, during this next 53 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial it in. Well, actually, you can't dial it in. The phones are down out there. Uh, but I wish you could dial in. But I can tell you how you can contact me. You can send me an email. Send that out to Steve at TFNN.com. Inside the subject, you can please put radio show question. Of course, if you're inside our Tiger's Devil, then any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Thursday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. Well, we begin our day with a mixed bag. Seems like uh, what we have been doing here the last several days. You got the Dow up 93, S&P up 7, NASDAQ's up 64. The uh, Russell 2000 is down about 6 tenths percent or 14 points, whereas the semis are up 2 and a quarter percent. That's 113 points. The trannies are down to 1 and a half percent, 250 points. We got some markets out here. Gold's up 18 bucks. Silver's up 10 cents. Natural gas is basically flat. Lights we crude. Uh, I got to change that to December contract it's up about 43 pennies 30 year treasury down one point and nine ticks now our leader in the clubhouse to the upside is monolithic power systems a 28 dollar move three percent taiwan semiconductor 25 point move 13 percent snap on eight percent 23 dollar move travelers 18 dollars and change nearly eight percent and thermo fisher scientific up nearly 14 bucks to about two and three tenths percent our shakers to the downside led by elevance health down 64 bucks. That's a 13% move. Followed by Molina Health down 13% or 41 bucks. Badger Meter $17, 18 bucks basically down 8%. Netflix about $10, a little over one to three tenths percent. S&P Global is down 10 bucks. That's nearly a 2% move to the downside. So we got movers and we've got shakers. Let's begin our day. Let's take a look at New York Stock Exchange. That advanced decline oscillator. Are we still above zero? We are not. We are back below zero. So the interesting thing, we closed above it yesterday. I don't know where we will close today. If we do close back below it, it tells us that sellers were the ones that were always in control. If it closes back above it, well, then it will tell us that buyers are the ones that are in control of the general markets out there. We have that spot fix index. That spot fix index is still below its 50-day, above its 50-day exponential moving average. The 50-day is at 1835. The low so far has been 1888. So watch that 50-day line. The price does close below it. That would mean it closed below 1835. That would be a bullish outcome for the S&P 500. Uh, what else do we want to look at here? I'm going to go right now. Well, let's just see. Where's the S&P priced in all the major currencies out here? Uh, what do you got? Does this one? Yeah. So in euros, we're at a new all-time high today. Uh, so there's no sellers there. Swedish Corona, we're at a new all-time high today. Australian dollars, same thing. Uh, U.S. Uh, we did make we did make a intraday all time high, new all time highs today in Great British pounds, a new all time high today in the Canadian loonies out there, Swiss franc and the yuan. So if you're looking for sellers out there inside the S and P 500, you don't see too many of them. 
Again, we have an international. First, the best rallies on the planet are when an instrument is rallying in all the major currencies. This certainly covers all the major currencies out there. Those are the best bull markets. And you can easily have something moving higher. For example, the S&P moving higher in terms of euros and maybe moving lower in terms of dollars. Well, that tells you you got buyers and sellers, so you're not likely to do too much out there. So I'm cautioning you. Just simply because of the way that we take a look at the S&P and the way that it's trading, I caution you to the short side. In fact, what do we have out here with regard to the uh, to the um, to the S&P, the ES Mini, I should say? Where's my charts here? Here we go. So you've got an A to B equals CD pattern to the upside. That gives us a one-to-one -one price projection of 6,012. We had a new profile that went ahead and confirmed yesterday. Price is trading above resistance. That resistance at 58.79. Trade above resistance should continue to move higher. In the case of the NQ, what we see is uh, it is just consolidating with inside its profile. That profile is between the range of 21.35 and 25.24.50. Price closes above 25.24.50, it would signal a move up to the 21.237 area. In the case of the Dow, it already attained its one to one A to B equals CD price projection, the initial price projection of 43.400. It does have a new profile that went ahead and confirmed yesterday, and a price is able to close above 40. 43,445, it's off to the races to the upside. Those races ought to take us to 44,210. That would be the 1.272 expansion of its A to B, of its really its A to B leg. If we take a look at the Russell 2000, trading lower, but right now simply testing profile support. That profile support happens to be the top of its profile at 2286. Now, if price closed below 2286 today, we're back inside the profile. It doesn't necessarily say that it's not going to complete that one to one A to B equals CD pattern, but it does say that it would be, uh, you know, it could easily move back to another level of support out there. So watch the 2286 at day's end. Uh, watch the uh, 58. 80 level inside the ES mini out there and inside the uh, Dow equity future contract 43445. No tops in place or anything like that. Uh, just uh, just struggling. But we do know when we took a look at the S&P 500 trading higher in those major currencies. Is there anything else that I can share here? Well, we've got the new perigee pivot point that came in um, late last night. Uh, in the case of the ES Mini, should things really get rocking and rolling to the downside, the levels you'll be watching will be 57.64. In the NQ, the level will be at 20.044.50. In gold, it would be at 26.77.90. In the case of silver, it's at the uh, 32.07 level. That area is being uh, tinkered with as we speak right now. In the case of light sweet crude, now this is, ah, you know, I've got it for the wrong contract here. Oh, this is oh, these are my apogee. I take I take all that back. So just before I was coming on the air, uh, we got a power surge and everything shut down. And uh, and even I don't know. I've got I've got some uh, uh, backups here, but for whatever reason that didn't that didn't hold. So I have to check out the battery. So my apology. I had the I had the pair of G pivot points in there. I'll have to do that uh, when the show is over. So we'll skip that. Skip that whole idea. Um, let's go take a look. At, let's go over to Stevie's white background charts here. And we're going to a break here momentarily. But let's uh, start. Uh, let's dive down into the ES Mini out here. And so as we take a look at it, <laughs> as we take a look at it. You know, I see a 15-minute chart that had a Rosemontum indicator top and price pulled right back to its breakout level of support, 58.91 and a quarter. The move to the downside, according to that, could be done. Um, in the case of the 60-minute time frame chart, price pulling back and testing profile support at 58.89. Uh, same thing with regard to the two-hour time frame chart, profile support holding out there. So the lows for the day could easily be in for the ES Mini. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. 
But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. My apology, I did not have those charts up for the ES Mini, uh, so we're going to go ahead and redo that. Now, when I pull up a, a set of charts like this, the first thing that I'm looking for is I scan – the first thing my eyes are, are scanning for, especially on the shorter-term time frame charts, is there any kind of bottom signal? But really, it's for the entire set of charts out here. Is there an A to B equals CD pattern I can visually see? Is there a TD9 count? Is there a Rhodes momentum indicator signal? Now, we don't see any of those that are present at this point in time. What's my mind automatically do next? Is price testing support? Because pulling back to support can, in fact, be a bottom. In fact, when you're trying to add to a position that's in a bullish mode, you would want to buy support. Well, so we have several different time frames out here, as you can see, with different support levels. So my eyes immediately went to the 15-minute time frame chart because there I could see an actual top, a wave number seven top. I'll just scooch this down just a tad. And a Rhodes momentum indicator top that confirmed at 10 o'clock this morning. 9.45 that was. And what did price do? It pulled back to test that breakout level of support, 58.91. So that says, okay, that could be a bottom, at least for that time frame. Then I move over to the 30-minute time frame chart. It would have to get to 58.75 to give us that same signal, so I can't do that. If I look at the 60-minute time frame chart, you see a new profile. Price coming back to the 58.89 level. Now, in the case of the 60-minute time frame chart, it most certainly had a sell the D point pattern. And that was confirmed. Let me get my cursor out here. That was confirmed at uh, 10 o'clock this morning. That was a big old uh, bearish engulfing candle. That was a key reversal bar. And again, whenever you get a topping signal, it only means that price is able to get back to support. It can break through support, but you know, typically that's what it's signaling to us. Well, in the 60 minute time frame, it did that. So you had a, an actual sell the D point, price gets the support, finds it. Now, what it really needs to do is trade it inside a profile. So we've got a range of 58.89 and 59.22.50. Now, because that was a key reversal bar, a bearish engulfing candle, a price has to close above the high of that wick, which is at 59.27.25. If that unfolds, the 60-minute time frame chart would reset back to all-out bullish. The two-hour chart, 
you can see there's a new profile. Maybe hard to see on your screen if I open this up just a tad and pull this out this way. Now you'll see 50 of the black numbers on the right hand side, 5888. That is uh, the support level on a two hour time frame chart. Resistance up at 5927. Price is above that green oscillator and change line. And what price is also dealing with here on a two hour time frame is its breakdown level of resistance. That was established by the TD9 count pattern that it formed out there. So 59. 14, 28 is a key, uh, 25 is a key level. But we can see that on two hour time frame chart, it has a TD9 count top. It was bar number eight at uh, 1600 hours. That was at uh, October the 14th. So the real high that the ES mini on a two hour time frame needs to close above to get into all the bullish mode again would be a close above 59, 18, 50 out there. Watch 58.8805, the price were to close below that, then we'd be looking at a move to the 58.54 level. Uh, we're still above profile on the four-hour time frame chart. We've tested support on the five-hour time frame chart out here at 58.91, and we're testing the oscillator and change line on a daily time frame. Now, the interesting thing about the ES Mini out here is you will see that as long as price closes today above 58.59.75, we will have a confirmed bar number eight of a TD9 count. Now, in order for bar number nine to complete, which would be tomorrow, doesn't need to be the high because we've already accomplished that with, uh, with the bar number eight today being the high of the pattern. However, price has to close above the close of bar number five. And that close out there is at 590825. So let's say that you have a hankering to just short the Sam heck out of this market. What you're looking for, what you're hoping for, what you're praying for is a rally. Because what you'd love to see is you'd love to see that ES mini form that TD9 count top out there. I don't have any other kind of topping signal at the present time out there. So if you're short or you're thinking of going short, you really want to see the ES mini go ahead and complete and confirm that TD9 count. Now, why would you want to see that? If we take a look at the weekly time frame for the ES Mini, you're going to notice that we are in the bar following bar number nine. That says that tomorrow, the ES Mini for its weekly time frame will have a completed TD9 count pattern out there. So you'd love to get the daily to sync up with the weekly. Does that mean the markets are getting ready to head lower out there? Is that what Stevie is saying? Well, I don't think that's what the charts are saying. And usually you like to have a little bit of uh, a unanimous vote or at least three of the four um, indices uh, telling us that, the yeah, okay, it's getting ready for a top. Well, let's go take a look at the NQs out here. The NQs have been the weakest, let's say, this week or so. Let's go see what they're signaling to you and I. So let's get those charts up on our screen. It's going to take just a moment. Uh, by the way, last night I ended up seeing Boney James. I had never seen him before. Don't have much of his music. I've got a few tunes in my playlist out there. So I didn't really know much about him. But we were just looking, hey, we, we had... We have been consumed with hurricanes. Last yesterday at about four o'clock was the first, three o'clock was the first time that we kind of took a breath and said, "Okay, we think we're we're through a lot of this mess." Anyways, went to see him. Without the, and if he's in your area, you should go see the concert. It was a great concert. But what I was going to share with you while these charts here were updating, he has a he has a a, a drummer. I've seen lots of concerts in my life. When I say lots, I mean tons. And uh, I love concerts. I love going out and watching musicians. I just totally love it. Well. He had a drummer with him. I think this drummer's been with him for a while or so. His name is Omari Williams. It, he played the best, single best drum solo I've ever witnessed. I mean, I had tears in my eyes at the. It was so good. So it was, uh, you know, and you just you love to watch any an athlete, you know, at their best, a performer at their best out there. To me, that's just, you know, that's the celebration of life. So in any event, uh, uh, if if Bodie James is in your area, if you've never seen him, you like jazz, you should go see him. What was kind of cool was he played one of my favorite tunes um, uh, last night. Now it 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 was. Uh, uh, and anyway, let's let's tell you what. Let, I can come back to that. I can talk about this for forever. We're not going to do that. Let's take a look at the NQ. Let's try to answer that question. So the NQ and the ES are not matching up with each other. So if we take a look at this, here we've got in the NQ on a weekly basis, you do have a TD9 count top that is still in place out there. So until that get take it gets taken out, maybe this is just telling us to expect a consolidation market or something along those lines. But right now in the NQ, we take a look at the current pattern, what's going on, there's no signal of a current top. So you'd have to go all the way back to on a weekly basis to the top that formed and, and 
we'll, we'll still do that, but the top that formed out here on July 12th. So that's the weekly time frame. This is suggesting right now to you and I that what the NQ wants to do is go target the top of its profile, 2869. We look at the daily time frame chart. Do we see any kind of a top out here? Well, we opened up this chart. The answer is no. There's an A to B equals CD pattern. Price has not hit that objective. And in fact, that A to B equals CD pattern for the NQ would take us back to the all-time highs, take us to that TD9 count break uh, uh, down level. Here, I'll show you. We'll go ahead and draw that in. If you give me a moment, we'll put in the A to B. Grab. There we go. So here's our A, approximately our A to B line out there. And I'm just simply going to slide this over here to the right. And you'll see that we're nowhere near completing that pattern. In fact, the A to B equals CD pattern. And certainly in the ETF, it's been confirmed with volume out there. We should get back to its eyes. But right now, we just have a consolidation with inside its profile. And that's between the range of 2135 at support and 2524 as resistance. So we don't have the NQ and the ES mini hooking up with each other. So that almost makes the TD9 count top that is perhaps going to form. It may not form tomorrow. Right price has to close above a certain level in order for that to take place out there. But maybe it's not really going to come to fruition. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible to most people. They think it's too volatile and risky. Most people aren't going to take the time to educate themselves on how to do it right. But you're not most people, are you? At TFNN, you'll get the guidance you need to refine your strategies and techniques to invest like a pro. Because you'll be a pro. All TFNN subscriptions, books, software, and courses are available at TFNN.com. And I'm even going to tell you how to get them for less. Use TFNN's Tiger Dollars and you'll get up to a 20% bonus on your purchase. And once you apply them to your account, Tiger Dollars are automatically used for all future or recurring charges. Tiger Dollars also never expire, are fully transferable, and are a great way to add savings to your newsletters or services. Become the investor you were born to be at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. The consistency you're looking for is closer than you think. One or two adjustments are usually all you need to change your equity curve from red to green and keep it there. Come join Larry Pesavento Live to learn what separates the winners from the losers. Join Larry Pesavento on the second and fourth Friday of every month for three hours of live trading from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time, where Larry will show you the market setting up and most important of all, the state of mind of a winning trader. By watching Larry trade, you'll learn the Fibonacci levels. You'll learn how to apply A to B to C to D trading patterns. You'll learn trade management, pattern recognition, and much more. Join Larry October 11th and 25th for more live trading action. Your purchase goes towards two sessions, so make sure to sign up now so you don't miss a chance to sit next to Larry as he trades the market live. For all information and to reserve your spot today, go to the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Trader's Edge is brought to you by Direction's Daily Leveraged and Inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. 
Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Welcome back, folks. I'll finish my story kind of quickly out here. So in my in the middle of my senior year in high school, I'm talking, you know, right at the break, uh, the right after Christmas break, my uh, my parents uh, uh, moved to Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I came from a city just outside of Detroit and moved to uh, Whitefish Bay area inside of Wisconsin. I ended up going to a high school called Nicolay High School. Most people don't know about it. If Z is in the den, I'm sure he knows about Nicolay High School. Um, in any event, so I get to this high school, and I'm either too far ahead or too far behind in the subjects that I was taking um, that I was taking in the in the in my Detroit school. And the uh, counselor put his arm around me, and he said, "You know, this is going to be. I, I know this is going to be a traumatic experience. You know, you're having to move in the, away in the middle of your year in in uh, senior year in high school out there. You know, you've left back all your friends. What I really left behind was my girlfriend, and that was uh, in any event. So um, he said, "Here's what we're going to do. He, you know, he started asking, "What do I like?" What hobbies do I have? I was into photography. I was going to all kinds of concerts and was taking all kinds of photography. Said, you know what? We've got a great photo uh, photography lab here. And I was only doing black and white then. And he said, we can even do color. So he said, I tell you what, that's one class we're going to sign you up for. And I don't think there's any other classes that we're going to sign you up for. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to put you on, if you'd like, we're going to put you, that would be the only class. And then we're going to uh, put you on work study. That's how you get your, your other grades out there. And they got me lined up with a uh, uh, job inside a uh, grocery store. High-end grocery store. Anyways, so let me get to the music piece of it. So I would spend a lot of my time in the uh, library listening to music. Now, all that stuff was on cassette tapes back then. And... Uh and uh, one of the musicians that, and one of the musicians that I uh, that I kind of fell in love with is Herbie Hancock. Now a lot of people don't like Herbie's music out there. I happen to appreciate it, and he has a song called Butterfly. And I, I, it was this was back in the in the mid seventies, um, I think maybe. I, well, I don't know actually when he when he. Um, um, when he put that music out there, when he put that song out there. But Bodie James played that last night. He said, I'm going to play one of my favorite tunes. And I was like, I was just like, wow. And which was really, which was really great. So, you know, I, I say that everything in life happens for us, not to us. You know, I could have taken, and if you're asking me, how did I come up with that belief? I mean, others have said that or what have you, but how did I, know, you know, and why do you want to be a pioneer of your future versus a uh, prisoner of your past out there? A lot of that stuff really took place during, all those things that I've learned really were during traumatic experiences, so to speak. And that certainly was one of them. And yet I learned so much. I, I, I used to, uh, there were two guys I met. They, uh, I used to hang out in the conservatory. These were really great musicians. So I really got an appreciation for classical muse out there, um, all kinds of jazz, learned how to drink beer, learned how to drink real good beer uh, in Milwaukee, uh, warm uh, out there. Um, uh, and I learned, uh, learned how to eat a great uh, uh, steak tartare. Which I don't think that's what they necessarily call it out there. But in any event, let me get on to some charts here. I could just, you know, talk and share, if you will. But that, that butterfly. Oh, thanks for posting that, uh, John. Uh, one of Stevie's, uh, one of my favorite Herbie Hancock uh, uh, tunes out there. So hopefully you like it as well. In any event, I, we had a request that came in late yesterday from DQ and was looking for a buy point and ticker symbol PCT. So those are the charts that you should see on my screen out here. So if you're looking for a buy point, what we know that we have here is today you could generate a Roach momentum indicator top. So if we do at day's end get a bearish reversal candle, at the moment in time it's a dark cloud cover. In order to be a dark cloud cover, it has to uh, close at least halfway into the prior bar's candle out there. We're below that point right now. But price is finding support at its oscillator and change line. So don't know if, uh, and, and even though you can still get a, a, a dark cloud cover candle, with price still holding above that green oscillator and change line, it just has to be careful to the short side because that's where price would find support on any kind of a retracement out there. And that number, just so I can give this to you, DQ, is at $10 even Steven right now. If price closed below $10 today, which is what you would like, then your entry point 
could be or should be $8.34. That would be the bottom of its profile. Now, that's assuming that no other pattern forms out here. Uh, but the bottom of its profile, I would say, would be an area to take a look at a potential long position in PCT. If we look at the weekly time frame, you just have a consolidation right now with inside its profile. And it's testing profile resistance up at about the 10.06 level. The exact number is 10.06. If price is able to close above that tomorrow, well, that would be a positive for sure. If price doesn't close above that tomorrow, you just have a consolidation between the 1006 level and 821, the bottom of its profile. On a monthly time frame, you're likely to get a confirmed TD9 count top at the end of October. Now that pattern could complete in November out there. So you're looking for a buy point. At this stage here, I would be patient, especially because of today's candle. We're back at another prior swing point from back on September 25th. Volume there was about 3 million shares. He came into it yesterday with 3.5. That was saying we should get back up there to test that level today. We haven't gotten all the way up there at 10.68. Today's high was 10.62. So not much more that I can share with you, uh, DQ, but, uh, you know, the, the monthly chart says caution, but we kind of put that off to the side. Uh, uh, you know, watch that $10 level. That's what you'd be looking for to suggest that we could get a further pullback. Uh, Hector and Patty want to take a look at uh, CCJ. So let me get, uh, but, and they're talking about, or Hector was talking about, well, let's actually look at the charts here. Let's stay on the white background charts for a moment and take a look at, see what kind of signals we have for CCJ, which is a Kamiko Corp out here. Let's start with the uh, monthly time frame. So on the monthly time frame, which is really what Hector and Patty were calling about, what he was noticing was, and he thinks that maybe there's a gigantic A to B equals CD pattern to the upside that is forming. Price is taking on a prior swing point uh, from the month of May of uh, 2024. That's its all time high out there and that's at 56.24 we're trading at 56.89 right now now that's going to be your real resistance level that has volume of 81 million shares we're more than halfway through the month and you're at 59 million shares so it is pushing in there it appears to be pushing into that swing point with volume and so I think what Hector's thinking is if price closes above that resistance level, and again, that's at 56.24, it is off to the races. If you take a look at the weekly time frame chart, really dealing with the same kind of thing, a prior high out here, that prior high uh, formed with a Rhodes Mintum indicator top, that high also at the 56.24 level. So tomorrow, a close above that, even though the monthly's got to wait to the end of the month, hey, on a weekly basis, if you close above that, it negates that top and says we had higher. We look at the daily time frame chart for CCJ. We do not see any kind of a topping signal. What we see is price testing a prior high out there. That prior high, uh, which was at 56.24 level, was May 31st and had volume of 4.6 million shares. So how are we doing this morning? Well, right now we have a total of 4.8 million shares. So price is, close, is likely to close above that high, do it with volume, and suggest we continue to move higher out there. Now, that's really the only topping signal that I see, so to speak. I mean, we're in wave four or wave number seven, uh, so you could be getting ready to do a little bit of a pullback out there. We'll finish take a look at CCJ. In fact, what we're going to do is we're going to move over to the black background charts and take a look at the A to B equals CD patterns that could be in play for its different time frames. We'll be right back. spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archive live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits.
In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, folks. So we're taking a look at the charts here for uh, Kimiko Corp. CCJ is the uh, ticker symbol. Uh, price on a weekly, a monthly basis is again taking on its swing point that had volume of about 60 million shares. So far, we're at uh, 59 million shares for the month. So it's got the volume and it closed about $56. You know, that would put it in a, uh, in a bullish breakout mode for its monthly time frame. Now, Hector and Patty, when I take a look at the A to B equals CD pattern, and I think I know what you're looking at, but here's what I see. I'm going to start, I think we've got the same A point. That's going to be the low from back in March of 2020. The B point that I would be using for this is going to be the high out here for April of 2022. And then we pull back for a, a month or so, about a month, and uh, we make a, a bottom in May of 2022. That was a 45% retracement. So you can see we're at the 1 to 1.272 A to B equals CD. I think that is more likely the predominant A to B equals CD pattern versus, I'm guessing, and so that would give us a price projection. So if we close by 56 bucks, then the price projection that it would provide to us would be at the $64 level, the 1 to 1.618 area. I'm guessing, and I, I apologize, I had, because I lost power and everything, I, I'm in a little bit... Uh, not flustered, but just really multitasking. I don't think I, I didn't read completely your your email, and, and I appreciate you sending it for sure. But um, you know, here's the A to B equals CD pattern you're probably looking at, with the A point being the same. But for the B point, I'm guessing you wanted to use the high from May of 2024, and then a retracement down here into August of 2024. That was a 40% retracement. That is also a correct A to B equals CD pattern. So absolutely. And you're going to get the swing point, it looks like, perhaps taken out with volume. Now, it's only the uh, 18th, 17th, 18th, whatever today's date is there. So we have to really wait till the end of the month. Even though it's pushing with volume doesn't mean that it's going to close above that swing point. Now, of course, that would give you a very large A to B equals CD with the one to one price projection being 8637. So is that in the cards? Yeah, sure. Absolutely. Um, but I'd be aware of the uh, smaller A to B equals CD pattern that probably shows up more easily if we take a look at the weekly time frame chart. Does it? Um, 
you know, it's going to, it would be using down here. So the same A point in essence here would be the week of uh, March 16, 2020. Again, the B point that I'll be using as the highest high. I'm looking for the highest high out here before, you know, price starts moving down. And yes, there are other levels you could, you could use out here, but uh, I'm going to use the, the, uh, uh, that B point. And then the lowest low that forms out here is right here in May of 20, May 9, 2022. That's the C point. That's the A to B equal CD pattern. I really think that we're dealing with at this moment in time a uh, hector on a daily time frame again so you know ccj looks uh, looks great as we speak right now so i think you're long and uh there's no signals here to suggest doing anything otherwise so i hope that helped you out yes i think that larger a to b equals cd point yes you know that's a possibility but you still have to kind of recognize the other a to B equals CD or any other patterns that might be out there that could identify a top. And we don't have anything as we speak just yet. Now, maybe that segues into our next discussion, which was a, in essence a take look at the GDX. And that is for that's for um, for Tom G. But we'll, we'll switch. Oh, uh, we're going to switch over to my white background charts, but we're going to stay here for a moment. So let's take a look at the GDX. And uh, let's take a look at its patterns and see what's going on. So right now on a daily time frame, you have the GDX that is taking on its swing point from the trading session of March, uh, September 26. 21 million shares traded that day. We're a little over two hours of trading, already about 8 million shares. So 8 times 3, you've got 24 million. So this is taking out that swing point or potentially taking out that swing point with volume. It needs a close above 41.95. We're at 41.80 right now. If it does that, then it's trading really above all resistance, certainly on the daily time frame out there. Not that that was, I don't know if that was a top or not on the trading session. We'll go take a look at the white background charts and figure that out. Uh, if we take a look at the weekly time frame chart out here for the GDX, here, the A to B equals CD pattern, this is pretty easy to draw in. So one would look like this. You've got the week that began uh, September 26, 2022, our A point. Our B point is out here on May of 2023. Volume there, 128 million shares. And it pulls back. It looks like the low is right here. Let me just make sure. That low is 25.62. This low is 25.68. Yeah. So that's our, our, our C point out there. So you can see we're already through the one-to-one -one level out here. Uh, as I mentioned that, uh, and, and whether this passed with volume or not, it doesn't matter. You can already see the A to B equals CD pattern has played out here on a, a weekly time frame. We've already achieved and attained the one-to-one -one level. So it'd be hard to say or justify that there's not a current A to B equals CD pattern that's underway out here. It's also prices taking on, in essence, that same swing point as a daily, only on a weekly basis from September 23rd of 2024, 111 million shares. Now, price on a weekly basis for the GDX is not going to have anywhere near, well, I assume it's not going to have anywhere near 111 million shares come tomorrow out there. But nonetheless, if you uh, close above that, now that is a bearish shooting star candle for its weekly time frame. If you close above that, then the GDX is off the race. Now, what Tom is asking, uh, he sold his, uh, his GDX, his mining holdings out there. And so he's asking, should he get into dust? Well, you know, you're pushing into that swing point. I, I, first, you got to wait to see what tomorrow brings. If we close above that, we negate that sell the D point. I also can see now on my other chart that the shooting star created a road momentum indicator top. So we can, we can close above it without volume out there. Remember, the GDX is tied, in essence, directionally speaking, to Goldilocks. So you'd want to say if you're going to take a short position inside of the GDX, you'd sure like to see a gold forming some kind of a, a top out here. And on the monthly time frame, the monthly time frame, price is trading in into its swing point uh, from back in August of 2020. Volume there, 664 million. We're really coming into that light. We're only at about 207. But we don't have any kind of a top out here. We take a look at the GX. Let's go flip over to the white background charts out there. And Tom, I know you can appreciate that I'm not really looking at the dust charts because we're making our evaluation based upon really what the one uh, X is doing here in the case of the GDX. So now we take a look at these charts out here. You can see that uh, bar number seven was last month. You know, if we get a tick above last month's high on a monthly basis, that will trigger bar number eight. But that's just saying, okay, you could get a top. It could, could be the top. Could actually take place this month. Uh, because the top on a TD9 count needs to be on the high of bar number eight, nine to the bar following bar number nine. On a weekly basis, though, we'd want to see, does price negate that Roach to indicator top? Because if it does, that's a suggestion then that it's not going to be the month of October that sets the uh, TD9 count top with bar number eight. 
And uh, we've really covered the daily time frame chart in essence. We're in bar number six there. So not much more to respond to with regard to take a look at the GDX. What we probably need to do is take a look at Goldilocks. So why don't I just put up uh, GC1224. Let's just take a quick peek at that. And you know, Tommy, I don't know if you caught yesterday's show, uh, but in yesterday's show, one of the things that we did take a look at was gold priced in major currencies. Now, we've made a new all-time high today in terms of dollars. We're making a new all-time high today in terms of euro, yen, corona, uh, Canadian loony, pounds, Swiss franc, Chinese yuan, and the Aussie dollar. All of these currencies, they are in an absolute buy mode out there. So with gold making those new all-time highs, without it identifying any kind of a top out here, um, yeah, I think you're hard-pressed to take a short position out there. Now, remember the GDX on a monthly basis is, you know, could form bar number eight today. We're nowhere near that. We negated a TD9 count top on the monthly time frame for gold. I think gold is heading towards three grand easily. We're at 2708 right now. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Welcome uh, back, folks. So I'm not going to be able to get through all the requests, but I'll make sure that all those requests that did come in, that uh, we get to those uh, tomorrow. And uh, I won't do any storytelling or anything. If we take a look at United Health out here, on a daily time frame, what you'd like to see United Health do is like it did yesterday, is get back inside its profile. Now, we've been 
We haven't been below the bottom of the profile for two consecutive sessions just so we closed back in it. Today we're back below it. But this may have bottomed. It had a TD9 count top on a weekly basis. That went ahead and formed back in September. And price pulled back, and right now it's testing profile support. It also tested its TD9 count breakdown resistance. Old resistance can become support. So it's in effect, that's why I'm saying it could have held. On here it could have bottomed. We would have a bottom pattern on a daily time frame. But the weekly is saying may have bottomed. The monthly is saying the same thing. Price tested the top of its weekly profile, 542. And we're trading right now above its green oscillator and change line. So that's what I see. But but on a daily basis, you really need to get this back inside its profile. So 569.85 is a key level to watch and observe. Uh, Brent wanted to take a look at ticker symbol APA. Uh, Brent, as I take a look at this, you've got a TD9 count bottom on the daily time frame that formed, as you know, back on September 11. It consolidates with inside its profile. The buy zone is between 23.77 and 24.18. Resistance up at 27.48. That was the daily time frame. We take a look at the weekly time frame. No bottoming pattern that I see per se here. I'm not going back to see maybe what it was testing. Um, and price is also trading below its profile. 26.30 is a number you'd like to see price get back inside. Of. On a monthly time frame, uh, we have a TD9 count top, a bottom, I should say, that was negated last month. The low of that pattern, the TD9 count, was at 27.17. Last month, we closed at 24.46. So this is suggesting, longer term, that price might want to tackle it or target its breakout level at 18.52. So I see lower price on the daily is what the signal is right now. The same on the weekly and really the same on the monthly time frame chart. So uh, sorry to deliver that news to you, but that's what the charts are communicating to me. Folks, thanks so much for joining me. Sorry we didn't get to all those requests, but I guarantee you we will tomorrow. So have a, a terrific Thursday, and I'll look forward to seeing you on fabulous and fantastic Friday. Take care. Be safe out there.